Hi, so I wanted to build uh, something called Solar Tracker. Uh, normally, Solar Tracker is dual axis and it actually uh, points the solar cell towards the sun. But here it is a bit uh, more complex uh, in tracing position because instead of the solar cell, there will be a Fresnel lens and at the focus of the Fresnel lens, there will be a optical fiber. So when you were small or right now, you, uh, you have done an experiment, suppose, in which uh, you used a magnifying glass and burnt a piece of paper during the day by focusing sun rays and you place the piece of paper at the focus of that magnifying glass and you burnt paper. So here is also the same experiment but instead of the paper there will be a fiber, optical fiber made out of glass. So uh, the basic idea is that optical fiber can transfer light from one end of the fiber to the other end of the fiber. What if, if we can concentrate all the daylight to the, with the help of a Fresnel lens to the tip of the fiber such that light can travel from one end of the fiber to the other end of the fiber and you can light a room which doesn't have any uh, uh, windows or it is in the middle of a skyscraper building. Normally museums in France, they, uh, some museums in France, UK, America, they use this technology to, dis, uh, to illuminate their pictures. There are two companies like called Himawari and Parans. They are also use the same technology to illuminate rooms. Let us try it in India and let me show you uh, how I made the project and how easy it is to make the project you can try it at your home and enjoy for light sensor ldr or photo transistor or photodiode can be used ldr stands for light dependent resistance you need four of those for the quartz cell this is the arrangement of the quartz cell this is the circuit diagram of the quartz cell or the ldrs connected to the arduino uno you can see Arduino Uno is also connected to the motor driver L298D and it controls two motor for the movements. For uh, frame I have used normal household PVC pipe and PVC joints. You can get that in a hardware shop. To connect with the motor I am using a wheel. These wheels are used for small cars or for small robots. The wheel is connected to the frame using uh, glue, especially Fevicwick or Araldite the base I am using a cycle wheel so the cycle wheel with the help of nuts and bolts is connected with a iron plate at the bottom and it is very stable the cycle wheel can be driven using a, a rubber tube from cycle or using a rubber belt these are few uh, pictures of the actual model after assembling of the solar tracker so you can see here there is the Fresnel lens there is the detectors and this is the working of the solar tracker in a time lapse video. So the solar tracker sensor tip of the fiber fiber goes like this and then it meets a connector so connector goes to this 200 micron spool and uh, after this 200 micron spool the again it goes with this through the spectrometer and you can see the spectrum in the computer you can see the tip of the fiber here you can see the light at the end of the fiber it is very bright and depending on the number of fibers light intensity will increase it can actually illuminate a dark room and if
if you have reached this part of the video then congratulations i know it was a very boring video so there will be failures and there will be problems so one failure and problem is that uh, you will see the solar tracker is not tracking the sun and it is tracking the darkness just reconfigure the sensor positions those ldr positions and second is that you will find jittering or shakiness of the solar tracker that is because of the weight of the solar tracker frame or inertia let me explain so uh, suppose this is the rod so this is by motor which is holding the solar tracker frame so this rod is this plastic rod is heavy so if i give it a small nudge okay let me do it in this way you can better understand sorry uh, so if i give it a small a small nudge even if my i am holding it very tightly but you see it has a jittering miss it is shaky very much so that is what happens when the motor moves a small position the <clears throat> because of this inertia or weight it moves a larger position and uh, hence and the sensor always tries to calibrate or recalibrate and the mess becomes more means more it is uh, more it sh starts shaking more and uh, there is uh, more of a problem so one way to one way of solution is that move the uh, activate the motor for uh, 3 millisecond or 2 millisecond and deactivate is it for 20 or 40 millisecond so what happens by that is that uh, damping comes into play and uh, this uh, movement of the frame due to inertia or due to its own weight comes to a stop and then the motor can push it to the next position and like that it will go very slowly your solar tracker is not a kung fu panda or a karate kid so it did not need, it does not need to go very fast sun moves slowly solar tracker needs also needs to move slowly and more slowly the solar tracker will move the more precise it will move so that is all the problems you will face one is the sensor position issue and second is this uh, shakiness and jitterness of the solar tracker that's it thank you If you like the video you can like share and subscribe and keep watching science in a cup happy new year and bye